this is how to start going to the gym and how to stick with it as a beginner. First of all, I'm proud of you for clicking this video, which means you're serious about starting or already have started going to the gym. So here's your seven step beginner's guide to starting in the gym and how to stick with it. Now starting anything new, in this case, starting a fitness journey can be very overwhelming, confusing and stressful. And if you have been going to the gym for quite some time and you haven't seen any type of results, it can be quite frustrating. When I first started my fitness journey over six years ago, I knew and I had dreams of having an amazing physique like Arnold, you know? I'm just joking, but in like one to two years, I thought I would have an amazing physique. But what I didn't know is that my first two years in training was going to be an almost complete waste of time because I didn't know the things that you guys are about to learn in this video. Starting off with your personal goals in the gym, you can go down many paths. You can do things like calisthenics, crossfit, powerlifting, and my personal favorite, bodybuilding. Whatever your goals are, you should have a general idea of what it is that you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. This will ensure that you're actually doing something that you love doing and you can do it for a long period of time. When it comes to writing down your goals, you should be as specific as possible. Whether you want to gain weight, lose weight, gain strength or gain muscle, you should write everything down. The more specific you are, the better the results. To be even more specific, you want to write down your goal weight. So how much you want to weigh, how much you want to lift, how do you want to feel and look. So the more specific you can get, the better the results will be. You should also remember that your goals will change over time, which is completely normal. The gym you choose should be an environment that you're comfortable with. Fortunately, nowadays we have loads of options. You have your commercial gyms, your private gyms, and your hardcore gyms. The great thing about the majority of these gyms, you can have a tour or a free session at the gym, which will ultimately give you a better understanding of what gym you want to choose. You should also make sure that the gym is as convenient as possible. So a short driving distance or a short walking distance will make it easier for yourself to go to the gym on the days that you don't really feel like going. Speaking of choosing the right gym, you chose the right beginner's guide to the gym, so now it would be a perfect time to like the video and share it with a friend. If you have no experience in the gym, I suggest you do some research. Watch some videos on exercises, form, how to use certain machines, and any other advice that would be beneficial. This brings me to my next point, developing your personal workout split. And now again, this is completely dependent on what your goals are. Since my preference is bodybuilding, we're gonna use some bodybuilding split examples to give you a rough understanding. For most beginners, I suggest starting with a lower and upper split. What that means is dividing your workouts into lower and upper days. Here's some examples. If you feel like this is not enough, the next split you should try is PPL, push pull legs. Meaning on push day, you're training your chest, shoulders and triceps. On pull day, your back and biceps. And on legs, you're training your quads, hamstrings, glutes and calves. And here are some examples of the PPL split. I'm moving on to nutrition, and again, this is completely dependent on your goals. But here are some simplified ways to calculate your calories for weight gain and weight loss. And of course, there are more things that go into your nutrition, but this is a good start. For fat loss, you want to be in a deficit. Now, what that means is having your calories lower than your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. To calculate your BMR, you can use a free calculator online. Again, this is not completely accurate, but it gives you a rough idea of what it is. So if your BMR is 2,500 calories, you should be consuming less calories or focus on more activity or do both so that it's below that 2,500 calories, which puts you in a deficit. The same thing goes for gaining weight to build more muscle. You calculate your BMR, whatever that number is, you make sure to eat more than that. This way you're in a surplus and you gain weight. Now let's talk about your first day at the gym. Depending on how scared or anxious you may feel working out around others, I suggest you go at a time where there's less people. The best time to go when there are less people is either before 4 p.m. or after 7 p.m. until closing time. I would also suggest going with a friend or a family member that goes to the gym or is thinking of starting their fitness journey. This way you can help each other out. So now you're at the gym doing your first exercise, but don't worry about the weight too much. Focus on perfecting your form and just get familiar and comfortable with the exercises and machines. Even if the weight feels light, do this until you feel comfortable and then start gradually increasing the weight. Then go for about 3-4 to four sets of 10-12 to 12 reps for each and every exercise. Reps meaning the amount of times you do a single movement and sets being the number of times you do the group of repetitions. Now another thing that I want to mention is that the gym is a place for everyone and it's a place where everyone should feel comfortable. All the people that you see at the gym who are stronger than you or bigger than you have all been where you are right now. So don't worry, no one is judging you and in fact they are more than happy to help if you ever need help or advice. So some time has passed and you're further in your journey. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do I stay motivated and how do I stay consistent for years to come even when I don't feel like going to the gym? Well, it's always more difficult in the beginning. You need to build that momentum in the beginning and push yourself to go to the gym even when you don't feel like it. You need to also remember that the gym and the fitness journey you're on is a slow lifestyle change. It's a journey you should enjoy and understand that you're going to have ups and downs, but to get you through those tough times, 
Focus on why you started in the first place. And again, having a solid routine in place will help you stay consistent. And even on the days when you don't feel like going, give yourself a chance and push yourself to go to the gym anyways. Even if you don't have the best workout, something is always better than nothing. I believe the gym will truly change your life. Not only your health, but almost every aspect of your life. So if you feel like this guide helped, please like, comment and share it to help as many new beginners as possible.